Well, that was a mega Times Now exclusive. You just heard uh, Union Home Minister speaking to Amit Kumar, where uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah says categorically that this is a fake video which was generated by those who have lost the battle. They are just trying to rule the social media now. Is that the case, Dr. Nikul Patel? See, whenever any fake video comes, definitely the person who is looking at it and if he is posting on its official Twitter, it's responsibility to look into it. Uh, now, if we see about whatever uh, uh, reservation uh, policies, we can see that it is a constitutional matter and any government who is into power mm. cannot change it, it, it as what easily anyone is speaking. If you see reservations were initially provided by the Congress and Scheduled Caste, Scheduled Tribe, OBC, all were given for the socio-economic upliftment. But now when we see of our, what Rahul Gandhiji is speaking, because it's my job to make your audience as well as people of the country clear that the way the privatization is happening in the government but jobs, Dr. the Nikhil way... But Patel, you're being a bit selective. What Rahul Gandhi has said is that when Prime Minister Modi comes, he is going to do away with all reservations. And we just played out that <laughs> soundbite. That's what he said. You're playing a bite or I speak? No, no, please do speak. We've just played out yeah. that entire sound. By I, 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 I have listened to whatever clip you have played and Rahul Gandhi said that the privatization, outsourcing and the way the contractual appointments are being made, nowhere in the notification, the reservation policy is being strictly employed and that says, states that okay, how reservation is being eradicated indirectly from the government and wherever the public money is involved. That is what he was. No, privatization. Right I'm sorry to it's... interrupt you, Dr. Patel. We are talking about the fake video. So let's stick to the issue. Rahul Gandhi fake said video, that Prime Minister Modi it's... said that he is going to scrap quota. Why did he say that if it now appears pretty clearly that that was based on a fake video? Why are lies being peddled? Fake video is a different thing. Removing reservations is a different thing. And if you see Rahul Gandhi rightly said about the how reservations is being indirectly removed from the government post and that is what I want to advocate it. Can I, can I, whatever fake video is it. really being told that it's whenever whoever is posting on it has to look into it. But how BJP-led government is indirectly okay. affecting the reservation policy by making it privatization. But you'd at least concede that Rahul Gandhi made a wrong statement today. Would you concede that? That Telangana Congress uh, Twitter handle put out a wrong tweet Rahul Gandhi, whatever he said, was wrong about Prime Minister scrapping reservation. Yes or no? Rahul Gandhi again said that you just listened to it. He said that how, I, how it was uh, privatization. Dr. unfortunately, you're not giving me a straight answer. I was just hoping that you'd give me a straight answer. But Neha Joshi, you wanted to come in. Go ahead. Meghna, if I was to look for one strategy that the Congress Party has had these elections, it is fake news. Uh, they come up with these doctored videos. One of their state handles or one of their spokespersons will tweet these videos. We all know, uh, you know, uh, that it, it, all of this election season, we've encountered so many of these videos. Then they will, their netas, the top brass, will go and speak about those fake videos in the rally and they just hope that the fake news factory can get them through. Uh, my dear friend from the Congress party here probably doesn't know that it was the Congress party that gave reservation based on religion in Karnataka, in Andhra Pradesh, in Telangana, and that reservation had eaten into the SCST and OBC quota. Whereas the constitution prohibits religion-based re uh, uh, reservation. Does he have an answer to that? It is the Congress party that denied reservation to the EWS category. Okay. The Modi government brought reservation, which should rightfully have been given so to the economically weaker sections from all uh, castes. So here is a party that has cut down, cut into the SCST overseas reservation. They, they deserve these seats, but they have given them to the minorities simply for their appeasement politics. Mm -hmm. And now they rely on these doctored videos, these fake news factories, because they have no agenda. Meghna, okay. I think where what I see is that this is conceding defeat. They feel that nothing is cutting it. They This is okay. the last resort that they have. Well, uh, unfortunately, we are out of time. But thank you so much, Neha Joshi, as well as Dr. Nikul Patel for joining us. This is, of course, something we'll have to wait and see on the 4th of June. We'll have a clearer answer as to which one of the two main parties, the BJP or the Congress, can get to set the narrative over the quota conspiracy, which is doing the rounds. With that, there's some breaking news. A quick look at...